For the first time since 2014, the Washington State Cougars take down the USC Trojans in Los Angeles. Hey, everybody, I'm Anne Marie Anderson alongside Tammy Blackburn. Tammy, the Trojans started off well, and Jordan Jenkins was a big part of that. She's going to be a big part of what happens to the future of, of USC, and it starts with Jordan Jenkins. It's going to be about Jordan Jenkins and several other players. And uh, Jordan Jenkins is going to get her touches. She's going to get her chances. They're going to run plays for her. They're going to call things for her. She's going to call for the ball, and you saw that tonight with this player. Uh, look at how crafty she is and her, her moves and her ability to get herself open in the lane and get to that cup and then that soft touch. Just incredibly athletic and impressive. But it was an impressive performance tonight by Ula Matuga, who actually had at halftime more than her average. She was feeling it from long range, and her teammates knew it. Look at the extra pass. One, two, three around the horn. Matuga spotting up. Tedder with the kick, penetration kick. Wallach, penetration and kick. That will break down a defense. Those long passes, you got to chase and close out. And that's why Matuga was open. And it was Johanna Tedder who did a very good job. Double digit points that we talked about. Tedder ends up finishing with 20 points. Four of 10 from downtown, six of seven from the free throw line. She really had her way today. The scouting report for USC was to make her take tough shots. They just weren't as tough as they needed to be. The response by the Cougars after shooting, getting just three points in the first quarter, low in program history. They respond to win the second, third, fourth quarters and the matchup versus USC. Thanks so much for joining us. The Cougs over the Trojans. And this one was a great one, Pac-12 Networks.